I wanted to create my own website ever since I was in university because it's just cool to know that you have your own space on the internet. And also, it's just like a good place to start writing and documenting my journey. Plus, I could also put my resume there. And this desire of creating my own personal website even more amplified when I lost my job early January. And then, of course, I started YouTube and then I thought, Oh, that'd be a good uh, video idea to film me building it. But I keep encountering the same roadblocks, like I should code and build it from scratch so people think I'm smart. Or purchasing domain is expensive, so maybe it's not worth it. Or I don't know much about design, maybe I should take typography or web design classes first. Basically, I wanted it to be perfect. And this notion of perfectionism had led me to not even start creating it five, six years later, which is insane. So today I'm just gonna start building it. I'm gonna use Wix, the simplest website builder ever. You know, it's just drag and drop. And then I'm also not gonna purchase a domain, my own domain, at least not yet. And I know Wix has limited design and it's hard to like transfer the content if you do decide to move later. And I also know that penelopedavid.wixsite.com is not the most professional thing in the world. But again, I just want this to be as frictionless as possible. The goal of this, I guess, activity is for me to know what I should know. I, I want to identify like specifics that I should learn about. I most likely will change this in the future, so let's just start. Like this video if you can relate to this dilemma. I'm just setting up Wix here and I chose portfolio and CV, choose a template, and just browsing through all of these templates. And okay, this is interesting. See the demo. Yeah. Let's just work with this. Just quickly changing the photo here. I probably need a new photo, but this is all I have now, so that's okay. Let's just change the names here, shall we? thinking light blue for a background, so just choosing a shade here. I'm changing each strip one by one. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. I'm just quickly adjusting elements here. Next up is deleting tabs that I probably won't use, like publications, events. Because of my photo, I think it's harder to pick a background color or even font themes. <laughs> I'm deleting so many things, so maybe I should have just started with a blank canvas. Here, I'm just deciding the design for the menu bar. I probably won't need media appearances, so delete. Adjusting the menu design again. this section, I wanted to try featuring my latest YouTube video. Adjusting the position of the elements and the colors as well. Just deleting the login bar because it probably won't need it. Here I'm just changing the color to black so it's visible.
next step is I'm adding my social media links on the website. I was going to edit the about section, but then I changed my mind and just hid the whole thing. I also decided to hide the contact section. Realigning the elements and actually just editing the text on the home page. a blog post here just to try out and it's actually the text version of my first ever YouTube video which I posted on my Medium account. Since that post is kind of like the introduction to how this all started, I decided to link the read all on the homepage screen to that post. And again, just adjusting the colors here and hitting save. Okay, it's saved, and I know my personal website is not the most aesthetic website there is, but at least now I know I can pinpoint what I need to work on, such as I want to learn more about what colors go together. So, you know, I've mentioned before, I was like, I don't know if blue, pink, and this like light gray work together, and then how should the font be with those colors, etc. So I'm going to research more about that. I'm also going to look more into padding and alignment of the elements. And yes, I'm so glad I did this. And even though this is not the most perfect website, I'm still much more ahead than me five years ago, being scared of just starting. So hopefully I inspired some of you to just start your website. So see you in the next video.